like dressing up like a woman? Women are crazy. <laughs> they get corseted and ratcheted up and patted and pooped and pushed and pulled. Eyelashes, you can't even open your eyes. A wig, it's like I've got something growing on my head. There's no heat escapes from it. You corset it, you can't bend over. You, it's a nightmare. It's crazy. It'll, sure, I'm going to shove my feet down an incline like this into a, into a ditch and then into a wedge. How about that? Oh, it makes your cat look good. I don't care. I'm never playing a woman again. <laughs> I, I, I went to send a picture to my wife. She's halfway through downloading it. She deleted it. She said I look like uh, Connie Selica who had bad bad plastic surgery or something. <laughs> I do make a hideous one. <laughs> yes, over here. Uh, any any uh, idea if you're going to make an Evil Dead 4? I heard Ashton Kutcher is going to be in it. Evil Dead 4 with Ashton Kutcher. Yeah, yeah, let's go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Let that poor bastard get knocked around. <laughs> I'd, I'd pay to see that. Uh, but, uh, no, Sam Raimi's doing part of Spidey 4 and 5 now. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, man has debt. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> cameo. Cameo. Not just a cameo. A pivotal role in those movies is what I... <laughs> I named the character. Let's not forget that. I defeated Spider-Man in the second one. I'm the only character who's ever defeated Spider-Man. He, he came to me for advice in the third one. I don't know. In the fourth one, I'll be the milkman. I have no idea. <laughs> yes. Two that I dropped out of Bubba Nosferatu only because we couldn't agree on a script. A and that's kind of a huge reason. <laughs> that's like the big one. That's the mother of all reasons. So they're going to make it with um, Ron Perlman as Elvis and and uh, Paul Giamatti as Colonel Tom. <laughs> I'd almost pay to see that. <laughs> In the back there. You've given us so much. How I've given you so much. <laughs> Here, let, let me give you a little something. <laughs> What's happening? What are you sending? Are you giving something to me right now? Look at that. Chocolate, hazelnut, and bridge of birds, a novel of an ancient China that never was. That's exactly what I've been looking for. Yeah. You betcha I would. <laughs> I 
I'm with you though, really. Yeah. Um, what inspired this whole movie? What inspired this whole movie? Yeah. Kind of like I shouldn't have done it or anything. <laughs> <laughs> what inspired it? What inspired it? Inspired it? Uh, Mark Verheiden, who wrote it, uh, he read a comic book from the 40s where some, it was called The Adventures of Alan Ladd. Alan Ladd was like an actor from the 40s and 50s. And uh, in the comic book, some people kidnapped Alan Ladd to help them fight pirates because in the movies he was a swashbuckler. So we just decided to do a very twisted, demented version of that <laughs> to confuse and horrify you. <laughs> and also, it's worked. Uh, also, uh, <laughs> Especially the critics. <laughs> wow, have I never seen reviews like this. <laughs> like I killed their fucking grandmother. <laughs> I want to just write an email back. You know it's fake, right? It's just a movie, right? This isn't like an ode to myself. Would you want that to be the ode to yourself? Are you crazy? The little action figure's coming out, by the way, and it's got the uh, sh the rot gut, Jim's old time rot gut whiskey. You can put it in a man. It's very complicated. It's really good. It's really a great job. Yes, back there. Have you ever been approached for a Briscoe movie? Uh, approached for a Briscoe movie. Yeah. <laughs> You mean this one? <laughs> you mean this one right here? That I'm signing figuratively for everyone here? Um, no, no one has approached me. Any? Uh, what, it'd be, it'd be Briscoe County Senior by the time we get there. <laughs> so no, old, old TV shows age like fish. <laughs> My horses are dying off. I mean, it's an issue. What's that? Hollywood's got no good ideas. All right, yes, they're right here. Worst person I ever worked with. Oh, the list is too long. <laughs> no, uh, I've been pretty fortunate. Most most shows are most actor types are pretty good. It's the ones going up and the ones coming down you got to watch out for. Those are the dangerous ones, but it's fine. They're very good people, like you folks here. Yes, in the back. Sure. <laughs> It was one of your dreams, <laughs> not a nightmare, right? <laughs> <laughs> I had really, really, really wanted to. And you thought I was taller. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna be alright there? <laughs> can, we, can we get you a tissue? <laughs> so, but not a question, right? You just. Was I magnanimous in Megas XLR? Yeah, a little robot chicken McNugget looking. <laughs> <laughs> Why, yes, I was. Uh, is that okay? <laughs> You're very happy right now. Oh, don't cry. No, don't cry. I'll give you a reason to cry. <laughs> I appreciate you coming tonight, and I'm glad that uh, your your dream has been fulfilled. <laughs> <laughs> you like an autograph? See, it's always something, isn't it? <laughs> no, uh, we'll 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 have a discussion a little later. Uh, I want to thank you all for showing up tonight because uh, I can't make ridiculous movies unless you pay for them. So, <laughs> and thank you for supporting this theater. Uh, I can see they, they serve adult libations here, so that's always a good sign. So I want to thank you for showing up tonight and for 